In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to show the prices of your online store in different currencies, so you can sell your products all over the world. I will also teach you how to change the payment gateway depending on the currency the user chooses, thus improving the shopping experience. Best of all, you can do it with the J currency plugin, which is completely free. Let's start. The first thing you need to do is to install the plugin. So you have to go to the WordPress administration and you go to plugins at new. And here you have to search for J currency. And you have to install the first one that is named J currency WooCommerce multi-site currency switcher. Install now and after it's installed, you have to activate the plugin. Now you are going to see a new menu that is called J commerce and you have to click J currency. And by default, you are going to go to the Manage Currency tab and you are going to have here listed all of your currency. By default, the currency you have selected in WooCommerce, in my case, is United States Dollars. But you can add up to three uh, currencies in the free version. In the pro version, you can add as many as you want. We're going to discuss that later. So now I'm going to add a currency. I'm going to add Euros and I'm going to add Colombian Peso, for instance. Now you have a preview of the, the currency and the rate. And also you can add a fee for the transaction for converting the currency. You can add a fixed price or a percentage. You can also configure each of the currencies. For instance, if you click in the gear button, you can select the currency position on the left, on the right, left with space and or right with space. In my case, I'm going to choose left. In the thousand separator, I'm going to add the dot. And on the decimal separator, I'm going to add the comma. And since Colombian peso doesn't uh, work with decimal, I'm going to add zero. And rounding, you can run up, down or nearest or just leave it disabled. In my case, it's okay as it is now. So I'm going to save. And now I'm going to click the display option tab just to check how the, the currency selector is going to be rendered or displayed in the product or uh, in the single product page. Only by, by doing that, I can go now to my store. I'm going to go to the, um, to the shop page. And I'm going to select one product, in this case, the bag. And as you can see here, I see now the, the currency selector as easy as that. So now I can choose, let's say, to Euro. And the price is converted automatically. I can select to Colombian Peso also. It's going to refresh and I see the price here. So here you can select if you want to uh, show the selector. The, the select uh, before the description or after. I prefer after the, the description. And you also have here a shortcode. I can copy this shortcode and I can render this shortcode anywhere. So for instance, if I want to display the, the currency selector at the bottom of the page, I can do that also. I can, uh, let's say, customize my page and I'm going to add the currency selector at the bottom. Let's wait this for to, to load. I'm going to scroll down and click the footer in my case. And I'm going to add a widget here. Let's say I want it here. I'm going to click the footer and now I'm going to click this copyright. I'm going to add the selector just, just there. So I can see it here. I'm going to publish the page and I'm going to refresh my page. Um, and now I have my currency selector here. I can uh, now select the currency from anywhere on the website. That's great. So now we have the switcher customizer. If you want to customize how the, the currency selector is going to be rendered, you can show or hide the flag. You can show or hide the currency name, the currency symbol, the currency code. This is a light preview and you can uh, switch the size to be medium or small. I like it medium better and I'm going to uh, save the changes. Now I'm going to go to the checkout options and here we have the option to 
personalize or check out in different currencies. If you enable this, now you're going to have listed the, the currencies and you can select by each currency the active payment methods. This is great. So for the default uh, currency, we have all the payment methods. Oh, but I'm going to enable more methods so you can see the difference. So I'm going to go here to uh, WooCommerce uh, settings. I'm going to go to the payments option. And now I'm going to enable direct bank transfer, check payments and cash on delivery. I'm going to go back to JCommerce, Yay Currency and select the checkout options again enable these options and now I'm going to select that for the USA dollars I can pay with any of the payment methods uh, but for Euro I'm going to add only Stripe and for Colombian Peso I'm going to enable cash on delivery and direct bank transfer I'm going to save and I'm going to show you the difference I'm going to go to the product I'm going to add to the car I'm going to check out and now since I selected euros here, I only see a stripe. But if I change to Colombian peso, I'm going to see direct bank transfer and cash on delivery as I configured there. And for a US dollars, I'm going to have all of the payment methods available. This is great. This is working perfectly. And now I'm going to go to the advanced settings and as you can see here, we have many other configurations available for the Pro version. So now I'm going to go ahead and install the Pro version. To do that, I'm going to do uh, plugins, add new. And I'm going to upload the zip file with the Pro version. I'm going to install it. I'm going to leave you the link on the description and on the first comment of the video but here, uh, just for you to know, you can buy the pro version for a single website only for $49 yearly, for three sites $99 yearly, or for unlimited websites for $199 yearly. So now I loaded the pro version, so I'm going to enable the plugin and the free version is going to be disabled by default. So I only have the pro version here and I'm going to click the settings and I'm going to have the same configurations but I'm going to have the pro version available now so in this uh, option fixed product price for each currency if I enable this and save I'm going to be able to go to the products and if I open one of the products let's say the bag again I will have this option here to set a price for each currency. So for instance, my regular price in dollars is 70 and let's say in, in Euro is going to be 65 and in Colombian Peso 250. I'm going to update this one and let's see if this is working correctly. I'm going to go again to the product. And if I change the currency here, it's saying 65, so I added here. And let's see for uh, Colombian Peso, it's working properly. Now if I enable this option, update exchange rate automatically, I can configure here how often the currency or the exchange rate is going to be updated. So I'm going to leave it uh, 30 minutes. And you can also have the option to auto select the currency by the by the countries so you can leave it automatic you can select which countries are going to have a default currency so let's say if i want uh, let's say spain have uh, the euro automatically selected i can choose as many as i want here but i'm going to leave it a uh, default auto detect here you can display also uh, a message for the users that if you want to do it I'm going to leave it disabled for now and I'm going to save the changes another great feature this plugin has I'm going to finalize my, my purchase 
I'm going to check out and I'm going to select direct bank bank transfer. I forgot to do this. The other great feature is that on the emails, I have here the email login. It's a plugin that intercept each email going out of WordPress. I have here the email the system is going to send to the user that made the purchase. I'm going to open that email. And as you can see here, the email was sent uh, in the currency or with the currency the user used to buy. In this case, it's Colombian peso. So your, your users are going to receive the right currency always. And another great feature is that the, in the analytics section of WooCommerce, you can select a currency here and you can check uh, the, the sales by currency. This is a great feature and it's going to allow you make uh, different improvements in your shop. I hope this video was really helpful for you. And don't forget to check out the, the pro version of the plugin. I'm going to leave you a link on the description and on the first comment of the video. Leave a comment if you have any question and I see you in the next video. Bye.